Good morning, kindergarten. We're ready for our morning message. Before we start the morning message, know that I miss you and I cannot wait to see you again soon. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to point with my little clicker here, the little black arrow, and we're going to read it together. Ready? Good morning. Today is thrilling Thursday. Are you ready? So we know in the sentence, today is thrilling Thursday, it ends with what kind of punctuation mark? If you said an exclamation mark, you are absolutely correct. When do we use an exclamation mark? Nope. You're right, we would use an exclamation mark when we are excited. We are excited because today is thrilling Thursday. The T in today is also uppercase. Why would the T in today, this word right here, be uppercase? If you said because sentence always start with an uppercase letter, you're right. Let's do it. Let's clap it out. Ready? We always start a sentence with an uppercase letter. So we always start a sentence with an uppercase letter. We know that because we are so, so smart. Then we're going to come down here and it says, are you ready? We see a, what kind of punctuation mark is that? You're right. It's a question mark. And we use a question mark when we have a question. So if I'm asking you, is it hot outside? I would use a question mark. But if I say, go sit down. Am I going to use a question mark? No. I'm probably going to use a period or an exclamation mark. Okay, let's go to the next page. Here we go. Now, remember, it's all kind of messed up because um, this is a different version of PowerPoint. So it gave us the answers already, but we're going to go ahead and tap out the words to see what the pictures are, okay? So let's look up here at this word that's in pink, and we're going to get our tapping fingers ready. And we're going to tap it out. Remember, each letter gets a sound tap. Ready? B, I, B. Bib. You're right. Tap it with me one more time. B, I, B. Bib. One more time. B, I, B. Bib. So this baby has a bib. Now you're going to look down here and you're going to say bear. It's a bear. But guess what, friends? It's not a bear. Let's tap out what word that is. So let's get our tapping fingers ready and we're going to tap it. Ready? K a b. One more time. K a b. One more time. Last time. K a b. What word was that? K a b. Cub. You're right. Did you know what baby bear? It's called a cub. And right here we see a baby cub. So a baby bear. Now up here, I don't know what that is, but I bet you if we tap out this word down here in green, we'll be able to figure it out. So tapping fingers up and let's tap it. Ready? F -a -g. One more time. F -a -g. Last time. F -a -g. Fog. You're right, it is the word fog. There is fog around the house. Good job reading those words, friends. Let's go to the next page. Uh-oh, it's not working. One second, friends. Oh, here we go. So now we're gonna use those same words in a sentence. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. And um, I don't see, oh, down here, I see one of our heart words. So we'll talk about that, okay? But I'm going to read you what this says up here. She has a pink, hmm, which of these words does she have? Does she have a pink, let's tap out that first word, b -ib bib Does she have a pink bib? Let's see what this word is. k a B. You're right, cub. Or is it this one? Fog. Fog. You're right, that was the word fog. So she has a pink bib. 
cub, or fog? Bib. You're right. The answer is bib. Now we have this sentence down here, and this is the word he. And then this is a heart word. Remember, the I we would know in our brains, and then the S we have to know by heart because it is the word is. You're right. Good job. So he is a brown. Hmm, what is he? A brown b -i -b bib? He is a brown bib. Does that make sense? No. Here, let's stop this one. He is a brown k a b cub. He is a brown cub. Does that make sense? Ooh, it does. Let's just make sure this one, the word in green, doesn't make sense. Here, let's tap it out. F -a -g fog. He is a brown fog? No, that doesn't make sense. So it has to be he is a brown cub. Good job, friends, reading those sentences. Let's see if it'll switch to the next one. It's kind of being silly and taking a long time. Oh, looky here. I love this problem because this is exactly what we are doing in math this week. And it says, how many more pilgrims to make 10? How many do you see in this 10 frame right here? You're right. I see four. How many more would I need to add to get to five? If you said one more, you are right. I would need one more to get to five. Hmm. But it doesn't say how many to make five. It says how many to make 10. So I need to, how would I know if there's 10 when I look at my 10 frame? Oh my goodness, you're right. The 10 frame would have to be all the way full. So let's count how many spots are open on our 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I added six more, then I would have 10. So I know that six and four put together make, you're right, 10. Six and four make 10. You're right, good job. You guys are so smart. You're also so very patient waiting on the computer to switch slides. Good gosh. It looks like our last question is a turn and talk and it says, what are some different kinds of stores? So look at a friend or um, a sibling or whichever grown-ups helping you, mom or dad, and tell them what are some different kinds of stores. Some of the stores that I thought of are like Walmart, and I like to go to Dollar General and Dollar Tree, and sometimes I'll even go to the O'Reilly and they sell like car stuff. That's a store. I also like to go to clothes stores like JC Penney's. There's lots and lots of stores. I hope you were able to name some. Good job working on the morning message with me today. I hope you guys all have a wonderful Thursday and I will look forward to seeing you on Thursday, Friday. Bye-bye.